Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a relatively new way and a slightly better way of sharing portions of YouTube videos with your students or anybody else that you want to share them with. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So let's say I've come across this video from my friend Tom Ritchie, and I want to share just a portion of this five minute video with my students. So you'll notice that YouTube now has this clip button here. This is relatively new. Click on the clip button and I'm going to write in a description. Let me pause and play back there. I'm going to write a description. I'm just going to say Tom Ritchie summarizes, summarizes, helps to spell it correctly, English colonization of the Americas. Now, I can stretch that out for as much as 60 seconds. It has to be at least 15 seconds. and can be as long as 60 seconds. And then I can just share the clip, and I'll have a link to just that clip. It's just going to play that 60 seconds of the video, nothing else. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that into, let's say, my Google site by just clicking Embed and using the URL option. And I'll insert that right into my Google site. Now, let me show you another example of how you might use this. Let's say you've come across a tutorial video like this one that I've made, and you want to share it with your colleagues, your friends, or anybody else. And you just want to have the most important part, which is going to be about the first 30 seconds or so after I do the intro. So I'm going to share that clip and I'm going to say embed a Google form chart into Google Slides. And again, I'm going to have it go just that long. And I should note that this will play on a loop when it's embedded. Let's share that clip. Again, just copy it. And if you're using Google Sites, all you have to do, hit that embed button, paste in your link, and now you have that right there in your website. Now, of course, you can embed it into any other website platform that you might want to use, including WordPress, EduBlogs, Weebly, or any other that you like. So that's a new and slightly better way of sharing just a clip of a YouTube video with your students. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.